Hey, Terry! Hey, guys! But what about when the kid comes out of the mommy? You mean childbirth? Yeah, childbirth. Well, let me show you the effects of childbirth. All right. And now they should stay. Start from the true parents of contractions, usually starting in the upper uterus with weak contractions, and moving down through the vagina, pushing the baby against the mama's cervix. The cervix becomes more softer as it's rubbed against. And this time, the amnion breaks and releases all the amniotic fluid all over the place. It's usually called breaking water, as I like to call it, sipping the lemonade. Oh yeah! It usually is the longest part of the whole process, taking 6 to 12 hours. That's like watching three episodes of The Sound of Music with my wife Marla. She loves The Sound of Music. Stage 2. The expulsion stage. The actual childbirth. After the baby is in the uterus, it is born head first. Its head acts as a wedge to open the cervix and go through the vagina. Is born head first to free itself of the mu mu mucus and be able to bore, uh, breathe the oxygen. And if, if it is born buttocks first, it is known as a breach and may have involved in a C-section. Quite honestly, if you're if you get a C-section, I just think you're a wimp. I think real women should be able to deliver it through their vagina, unlike Miss Satinoff. Hey, hey, what, what are you doing? What are you, what are you, ah, 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 ah. The placental stand or the stand about 15 minutes after the birth of the baby causes strong uterine contractions. These contractions cause a compression of uterine blood vessels, a limit of blood, and it causes a placental to attack from the uterine wall. The placenta and other uterine membranes, often called the afterbirth, must be removed by a slight tug of the umbilical cord. It is very important that all of these parts are taken out so that it doesn't cause excess uterine bleeding after the birth of the infant. I'm Justin McPhee, and I'm going to sing you my newest song called C-Section. During stage two of pregnancy, dystocia may occur. And when, when that happens, the baby doesn't get oxygen. No, no oxygen for the baby. And when, when that happens, you're gonna get a retard. And that's never good. So, you don't want to retard, so what will you do, so the baby gets oxygen? What, what will you do, you're gonna cut his mother up, cut her up, cut her through the uterus, and through the uterine walls. Snatch, snatch him out, snatch out the baby And that's called C-section Thank you, and that's my song <laughs> So I know what the mothers go through, but how do they feel about it? Well, Timmy, I don't know. Let's go ask them, people. <laughs> Gee golly cool! Mr. Carey, what was it like to have your wife pregnant? What? Mr. Sanos, what was it like when your wife was pregnant? Mr. 
Miss O- Miss Oyama, what is it like being pregnant? It sucks! My hormones are out of control! Why did you do this to me? Um, my husband, he's a saint. He's wonderful. Do you know how much my cervix dilates and serves? That's this much. From here to here. I can fit this through. I can make a house fit through. A cup. I can even make this alligator go through. So smart and beautiful like my husband. I like watching touch by an angel. So Jeb, what's it like having your wife being pregnant? No, it sucks. I had to mow the lawn this week and I had to wash her dish. You know how much washing that dish, sir? Hey, hey Jeb, yeah. tell, tell her tell him about how much washing that dish sucks. Man, that washing that dish sucked. It was crappy. And you know what else? I have to now do crap for her. She can't go to the grocery store by herself. She can't go to the mall and buy a dress by herself. She, you know, I buy her dress. Hey, and, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell about the time you bought her a dress. Man, I bought her a dress, and it's not like one of damn pretty dresses. Like, I had to buy one of those big fat lady dresses, and she looks like a fat lady. And I... But buying a dress for her was like hanging a chandelier in the hottest house. Exactly. And I, hey, hey, look at this. I can put my foot in my mouth. Yeah, birth. Now that I know all about sex, pregnancy, and birth, I'm gonna go have kids of my own. Well, Timmy, I'd wait a few years for uh. that. But now, you have a great understanding of sex, pregnancy, and birth. He's eating my finger. Ah! All right, go back around. Action. What's <laughs> going <laughs> so on? Oh, you guys are laughing more than I am. All right, all right, all right. The Great Houdini, number one.